video segment, we're going to look at the procedures for bringing a car into the auto shop. We'll also look at the procedures for pulling a car out of the auto shop. And when we're bringing a car in the shop, the procedure always starts at the same point. We always start with creating a repair order. And if we're working professionally, every car that comes into the auto shop needs to have a signed repair order. Same thing here at the MPC Auto Shop. If we're bringing in a customer car or a student car, we need to have a signed repair order. So to create a, a repair order, we'll go to any of the, the computer terminals in the auto shop. And in this case, the RO Writer is already open. We'll click on the RO Writer icon at the bottom, and we'll open up RO Writer. And we'll create a new RO. So there's an icon there for creating a new RO. We get this dialog box coming up. It's a search dialog box. It says name. And if we're unsure of how to do all this, at each computer terminal, we have a set of step-by-step -step instructions that will walk you through this process. So I'm just going to go through it quickly. We're going to bring in, in this case, the school's Tacoma. And the school cars are always, the last name is always the name of the vehicle. So we'll go with Tacoma, and we're going to search. And there it is. The MPCAT is the first name, Tacoma the last name. We're going to use that vehicle. OK. Now we'll enter some of this information. Again, we're just flying through this. The Profit Center is the class that you're working in. In this case, no class, so we'll click on no class. If it's Auto 100, of course, you'd put Auto 100. Or it's a Friday class, you'd put Auto Lab. And I'll put myself in as a service writer. OK. We've now created the RO. And at this point, all we really need on the RO is the customer's name. And the customer is the person that brought the vehicle in. It doesn't have to be the vehicle owner. It's the p person that brought the vehicle here to MPC. So we've got the customer name in there. We don't need the, the make and model of the vehicle at this point. At this point, just the customer name. And then we can click on the print RO icon. And we're also going to print the WO, which is the work order. So we'll print both of those off. And we'll head into the classroom to the, to the printer to pick those up. OK, so we've got our repair order and our work order. And the repair order is actually a legal document. That's what authorizes the work to be, to be done on the vehicle. And so it, it actually needs to be signed and dated. So we're going to take our repair order, and the customer is going to sign it. Again, the customer is not necessarily the vehicle owner. The customer is the person that brought the vehicle uh, to the shop. So in this case, it's an MPC Autotech vehicle. So I will be the customer. I'm going to sign and date that. And once I've got the repair order signed and dated, I've also got the work order. I'm going to walk into the shop. And as I'm walking into the shop, grab a clipboard. I'll put my work order on the clipboard. I'm going to take the signed repair order give it to the lab assistant, whether it's the instructor or lab manager or a student lab assistant, and they will give me a bay assignment. So it looks like we got bay five. So I've got the, the keys to the toolbox in bay five. I've also got the inventory log for the toolbox. So we'll walk over to bay five. I'm going to unlock the toolbox. OK, got the toolbox unlocked. And we'll open up the toolbox. And I need a spot to, to put this key so I don't lose it. Convenient spot is this magnetic parts tray. So we'll put the key in the magnetic parts tray. I'm going to perform the toolbox inventory. In this case, we'll just skip over that part. But it's important that, that you do a thorough inventory and mark down any tools that are missing. And if there's any tools that are missing, of course, we record that on the back side. In this case, we'll say all the tools are there. And I will put my name, the date, the class, and yep, it's complete. And I'll grab the seat cover and the floor mat. 
And as I'm heading out the shop to bring the vehicle in, I'll drop off that inventory sheet back in the basket where it came from, and let's go bring the vehicle in. So we've got our work order here on the clipboard and our seat cover floor mat. And as we're walking up to the vehicle, if the vehicle information isn't already entered into the system and we'll know if it's, if it's on the work order, in this case, I'm looking at the work order, there's no vehicle information. So as I'm walking up to the vehicle, I'll note, okay, this is a Toyota Tacoma. So I'll write Toyota Tacoma on here. And there's also a spot for the, the license plate number. And while I'm standing here, if this vehicle had a license, we'd write down the license plate number. And then we'll walk over to the vehicle, open up the driver's door. And right here is a great opportunity to record the VIN. We know there's two pieces of information required, absolutely required or legally required on all repair orders. And that's the VIN and the mileage. So we definitely don't have the VIN in this case. So I'm going to take this opportunity now to record the VIN. And that's 5T EVV 42N55. Z06356. Okay. So we got the VIN. Just going to put my clipboard in. And then I'll put install the seat cover and floor mat and I'm not just going to go through the motions and and throw it in there. This is an important professional detail so I'll take a little bit of time to protect the upholstery, protect the vehicle against any any dirt or grease that I may have on my shop clothing, uh, protect it from getting on the seat. The, the floor mat is there to protect the upholstery against any grease or oil that I may have on the bottoms of my shoe. So again, we'll take some time to put it in there properly. And we've got it in there. And now we'll get into the vehicle. And something we're going to do on every single car that comes in the shop, as we're, we're pulling it in the shop or before pulling it into the shop, we're going to roll down the driver's window. And that's something, again, we'll do on every single car. The reason we do it on every single car is it allows us to com communicate. As we're bringing the vehicle into the shop, it's important to communicate with those around. We're coming in the shop. And secondly, if there's ever an instance where we accidentally lock the cars, the keys in the car, the keys are going to stay in the ignition. If we ever, ever have a situation where the, the doors lock accidentally or lock automatically, no problem. We can still get in the vehicle. So let's pull it in. So we're pulling into the shop and there's a lot of different things we can hit. A lot of different things we can run into, so we're always, of course, going to have the window down, be looking out the window, and we're also going to have one of our teammates. We're going to have one of our teammates guiding us in where we're going to watch our teammate. Uh, they're going to give us some hand signals, some important hand signals. We'll watch them. They'll guide us in. Right there. So here at MPC Auto Tech, it's very important that we maintain safety, and we need to guide cars in in a safe manner. We want to use large hand gestures. This is straight, straight ahead. This is telling the driver to move to their right. This is telling the driver to move to the left. Large hand gestures, don't be shy. As they get close to the spotting dish right here on the ground, you wanna tell them how much distance they have tell that spotting dish. And close your hands when they're there. Don't be afraid to communicate. Don't be afraid to tell them what to do. Slow down, go fast. You're the one that's in charge of guiding them in. They're watching you. And that's how we do it here at MPC Auto Tech. All right, we're safely in the shop. And if we haven't done so already, we're going to record the mileage, which is one of the, the two critical pieces of information that needs to be on every single repair order, the VIN being the other one. So we'll record the mileage now. We've got 102.285. And we may be tempted as we're getting out of the vehicle to 
pull the key out of the ignition. Most people have formed that habit, getting out of the car, take the key out of the ignition, put it in your pocket. However, when we're working in, in the shop, that is the wrong approach. We always keep the key in the ignition. So we'll form the habit, making sure the ignition's off, keeping the key in the ignition. And of course, because we, we previously rolled down the window, there's no danger of locking the keys in the car. Now at this point, uh, we may be doing uh, one or two or several different quick inspections. We'll start, in this case, with a, a horn inspection. Check the horn inspection. We're also going to check the wipers and washers. So we'll turn on the washers, making sure the washers and the wipers work. And of course, if, if we noticed any problems, like the horn didn't work, we'd put a little note on a repair order and we could transfer that to the inspection sheet. So now we'll get out of the vehicle. Okay, now we're gonna wrap up the wiper inspection here. We saw that the washers and wipers were working. We're gonna take a closer look at the wiper blades. And in this case, they don't look so good. It looks like those blades are falling apart. The rubber uh, wipers coming off there. I look over at the right side, I can see the others in similar condition. So I'm gonna make a note of that. Wiper blades need to be replaced. And we may be performing other quick inspections on the vehicle. And once we complete those quick inspections, it's very important that we take the information we've collected and enter it into the RO Writer system. So we'll go over to our conveniently located computer terminal, we'll bring up the repair order, and in this case, the only thing I really need to enter is the mileage, so I'm gonna do that right now. Form the habit so I don't forget. So here we go, 102, 285. And like I said, I may enter the, the make model information, the license, VIN, anything that's missing, anything that I've collected, I'll enter that information. I'll also, if I have an inspection sheet, which I may have in addition to my, my work order, I'll enter the information on the inspection sheet about the wipers and, and the other information that I've collected. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to, to do whatever work we're gonna do on the car, and then we'll talk about how to pull the vehicle out of the shop. All right, so we're done the work we're gonna do, for, uh, do on the vehicle today, and we're ready to pull the vehicle out of the shop. Before we do that, we're gonna get the attention of our instructor and he's gonna perform customer pickup. He's gonna take a look at the work and, and stand in as the customer and rate the quality of work you've done. Now, little tip. Before the instructor comes over to take a look at your work, on the worksheet, there will be a list of some of the things he's gonna check. It's a good idea to, to go over that list and make sure you've attended to those items before the customer or the instructor takes a look at the work. So we've had the, the instructor review the work we've done and we're now ready to actually pull the vehicle out of the shop. And you'll notice, still have the seat cover and floor mat in, in the vehicle protecting the upholstery. We're gonna leave it in there. So we'll hop in the vehicle. And before we start the engine, we're going to yell clear, even though there's, there's nobody around. Clear. And just like we did when we pulled the vehicle in, into the shop, we're gonna have one of our teammates guide us out of the shop. And this is even more important coming out of the shop uh, than it is going in, because there's a lot of, lot of obstacles, a lot of things to run into. So we're gonna position our our teammate behind us, they're gonna guide us out of the shop and make sure we don't crash into anything. Okay, so we're just parking the vehicle. In this case, we've got a manual transmission. I'm gonna set the park brake. We'll turn the engine off and make sure we roll up any windows we previously rolled down. Okay, I'll 
get out of the vehicle, grab our floor mat and our seat cover. And of course, if it's a customer vehicle, we'll make sure that the doors are locked. So I'll lock the doors and we can head back in the shop. Okay, so we're just gonna fold up the seat cover and floor mat, put it back in the way we found it. And it looks like everything is back where it's supposed to be. At this point, we'll get the attention of the lab assistant or the lab manager, say we're ready for toolbox checkout. And, and they may finalize the repair order if necessary. And they're also gonna go through the toolbox and make sure everything's back where it's supposed to be. And provided everything's back in the toolbox, bay's clean, the work area is clear, we're done. And that's how you pull a car in and out of the MPC Auto Shop. <laughs>